Dexter is fascinated by the copycat killer's neatness, leaving not a drop of blood when he dismembers a body. Let's find out if that's really possible. In the book, uh, one of the aspects of it is, is being able to kill somebody and uh, potentially dismember their body and not leave any bloodstain evidence. Uh, it would be possible, but it'd be very difficult. As a uh, bloodstain analyst, uh, what my job is is to go out to, to crime scenes and based on uh, blood present at the crime scene, which of course if you've got blood there means that a, a crime of violence has occurred, uh, to go out to that crime scene and try and interpret the bloodstain patterns that may be present on the, the, uh, the furniture, the walls that are around, the clothing on uh, maybe the assailant, the clothing on the victim. And, and in that we try and reconstruct uh, possibly what has happened the main character, Dexter, is able to, uh, to murder people uh, without uh, generating any blood spatter or blood stain evidence. It would be possible, but it would be very difficult. What you would essentially would have to do is euthanize that person. Uh, once the heart is stopped, essentially we're relying on blood flow being created by gravity or draining. The other possibility is to flush the blood out of the body uh, prior to uh, dismembering it. And that would be typical of an embalming process for a funeral home. It's possible that the blood could have been cleaned up. Uh, we have uh, special chemicals that we can use to detect blood that's been cleaned up. Uh, one of them, the primary one, is luminol. It reacts with the trace amounts of iron that are left behind in, in cleaned up blood. It's been seen numerous times on a number of crime scene investigation shows. So we're able to detect where blood was. But the basic premise in bloodstain pattern analysis is you need blood there to do an analysis. 